Top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer O'Longfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Ah! Oh, Gagalo! Talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears. I'm sorry. Ah, oh my God. Ah. Are you okay? He's dead. Oh geez, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gargalor. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So hey. Have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gogolor. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gogolor. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gogolor! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! Freedom! 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 Hoo-ya! Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Hey! Is this gonna upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No! I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogalore? Wait, what navy? Meet us at the dam, Gogalore. For freedom!
peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Guggalore. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gargalore. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action.
Things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gagalore. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common lowlife criminals. Earlier tonight, Gagalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity! Kidnapping children do not harm the brains. Why, Gagalore, why? Nothing can stop him! Where are the police? Museum. We've faced monsters like you before, Gogalore, only much smaller. My car! My bait shop! My tank! Destruction and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all-volunteer navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogalore. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. 
Not get caught stealing children. Now you see the genius of our plan, Gogolor. First we print flyers, then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Lungfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? If you don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we're busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within the week. doing up there? We don't have a replacement blimp, you know. Ow!
He's impervious to bullets and love. Why doesn't the Navy electrocute him? I don't want to complain, but Coach Chamara should do something. Guns, Godalor. here with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, 
What's your take on the Gogalore situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way! I hate Gogalore! I can't imagine any one of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. <laughs> Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. <laughs> Airplanes! <laughs> so rest assured, we can all look forward to Gogalore's imminent death. And to seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks, and I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogalore, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Kochamara Channel to get to Kochamara Island and destroy Kochamara Tower! The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogalore, we, uh... We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gogalore. Yes, that, and for freedom.
Well, we're sorry to report that the miserable and incompetent Lungfist Navy is all but sunk. Great work, losers. Now, Kochamara himself will have to come all the way down here just to save our worthless hides. Authorities are calling for a big parade in Kochamara's honor after he clobbers the annoying giant Gagalore. And if the parade is big enough, Kochamara promises not to destroy the city. Brush teeth more often don't draw so much. Give up while you can, Gagalore. I know it's you in there, Coach. I don't know where you're broadcasting from, but I'm gonna find out and make you show me what happened to Lily. Kochamara does not speak giant monster boy language. The only word you're gonna need is ouch. Deadly Triangle Beam! <laughs> Mighty Ram! Deadly Triangle Beam! Mighty Ram! Mighty Ram! Mighty Ram! Deadly Triangle Beam! Sasha's showed you how to save up your aggressive energy, huh? Well, why don't I help you? Let it all out! <laughs> Mighty Ram Grapple! Overly intricate combination! Watch it! Hard to avoid! Attack! Overly, overly intricate combination! Hard to avoid! Every attack! Mighty Ram! Deadly Triangle Beam! Mighty Ram! Deadly Triangle Beam! Mighty Ram! Mighty Ram! Deadly Triangle Beam! Mighty Ram! Ground Vision! To avoid every attack! Overly 
intricate combination! Hard to avoid! Area attack! Over, overly intricate combination! Hard to avoid! Area attack! Oh! People of Mugfishopolis, I'm sorry I let you down. Finally! Okay, Tower, get ready for Gogalore. control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nab children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said, in my lab! I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> <sighs> Good one. That. It is I, the creature whose spirit was once, um, <clears throat> over here. Behind you? Yes. Oh. The creature whose spirit was once enslaved by the evil one. You have unchained my soul, and now I shall repay you, powerful human child. Oh, uh, great. Well, okay, show me what you did to my friend Lily. By the drowned spirit of Oblongata, it is done. <laughs> Hulking lungfish, you know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. What a magical lady. 